Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Love Connection reading for February. This is Mary and it's the Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aquarius, this has to be an actual connection of some kind. So whether you're together or not uh, doesn't really matter, but you have to at least know each other and what you believe to be some sort of connection between the two of you. So we'll see what we get here. Um, and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if you have Aquarius in your placements. So let's see what's going on here for Aquarius at this time. And I do say at this time because I consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, your playlists are down below in the description box, General and Love. And uh, a lot of stuff down there, um, how to reach out for personal reading, social media, how to tip or do donate or send a gift, all that information is below. And I will also pin some of that information in the top comment. So Aquarius, welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Ho hope you're having a great new year. So with this deck here, Aquarius, um, we're going to get a sign element planet. Okay, I guess that's your card. You may or may not be dealing with whatever comes out here, so only take what resonates throughout this reading. So let's see. So we have Mars energy. So this is Aries. So you could have an Aries around you in some way, dealing with an Aries. Um, but the energy of Aries is about competitiveness, assertion, aggression, courage, and confidence, passion, and strength. So a lot of that... Uh, Kind of like, I don't want to say aggressive energy, but very passionate, like go-getter kind of energy. So what I'm going to do now, uh, Aquarius, if you're familiar with my readings, you know how this works. If you're not, then first thing I'm going to do here is pull an overall love energy, connection energy, whatever it is between you and your person. And then I'm going to pull one for you, one for your person. I'm going to call this side you, this side your person, but if any time throughout this reading... Switch, flip-flop the energies anywhere you see fit. That's how tarot works. And uh, like I said, only take what resonates. So for right now, for Aquarius, for this reading, in love, spirit please, thank you so much. What is the love connection energy between Aquarius and their person right now? And we have awareness. Number 30, which is three. And three is about working together, uh, teamwork, collaboration kind of energy. So being aware of each other, of the connection. So if you're not together and say you like this person and you think they may like you, they're either aware of you. I feel like you're definitely aware of this person. You like them. That's why you're watching this. I think they are aware of you and maybe they are aware that you like them. Whether or not they like you, that remains to be seen, but there is awareness here between the two of you. And you may work with this person also, because the Mars is Aries, and Aries is the Emperor, which can be like a boss or something like that. So, and threes are about working together, so um, maybe you worked with this person, maybe they're even your boss, or um, supervisor or something like that. Hmm, I don't know, let's see. Let Okay, well, here's one. So I'm going to call you, I'm going to call that your side. And let's get one for your person, how you're feeling about each other and the connection at this time for Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, you have 39 choice, which is 12, which is three again. So three is a big number here in this reading. So so you may um, need to make a choice here or it's your choice whether or not to be with this person or you feel like they have to make a choice about you, however it resonates for you. So let's see how, wow, we got two, compassion. So that's how they're feeling. Um, and two is about unity, compassion. So I'm getting that... How can I explain this? I feel like they know that you like them and they feel like compassionate towards that energy. Like not sorry for you, but they feel like um, like they may be extra polite to you, extra nice to you because they know you like them. Whether or not they like you, I don't know. I think they're just showing like that energy of feeling compassionate towards you because they know how you feel towards them. And you may be taking that 
as they like you. But we'll see here as we go on um, how they're truly feeling. So, but there's something about a choice here. So, I, I don't know if you're feeling like either you're going to make the choice to like me too or ask me out. Um, but we'll, we'll clarify all this energy with Tarot. But let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have Ruminate here, which is nine. So nines here are about, um, means many. I go by the Tarot, the number in Tarot, what it means in Tarot. So nine has a lot of different meanings. It can be an independent energy. It can be, you know, to keep fighting on. It can be um, stress, worry, anxiety. Um, it could be wish fulfillment dreams coming true but we have ruminate here so you may be like playing off of like picking up each other's energy and, like playing off that back and forth kind of energy also hmm. so i just want to uh i don't have my little book here but i just want to read a little bit about ruminate because i know it has different meanings which is number 18 I don't usually read from the book too much, but uh, it says, take note of, of how you take on the energy around you. Do you tend to immerse yourself in unconstructive energy? Are you taking responsibility for a situation that really has nothing to do with you? So that's a, really about picking up energy around you and like carrying it with you and like getting yourself involved in energy that doesn't really have anything to do with you. Um, but I'm not getting that in the, like this kind of energy, but, um, and, and I also get it as like being in a high vibration, like ruminate your own energy of like being in a high vibration and exuding that energy out so that can ruminate around other people around you. So maybe what you need to do here is make this conscious choice to raise your vibration and your energy and being a more positive energy, if that makes sense. And maybe this energy ruminate towards your person of interest here. But they're coming over in a compassionate energy. So, but there's definitely awareness here between the two of you. So, let's see what's going on here. Aquarius, we're going to look at these energies. We're going to clarify them and then we'll look at the actual situation. Advice for the connection, possible outcome of the situation. And then we'll get extra messages over there from that deck. So I just want to give a quick shout out and thank you to everybody who subscribed, all my new subscribers. Welcome and thank you. If you've tipped or donated, uh, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading, I truly, truly appreciate all of you and all the support you show the channel. And uh, I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you. Okay, spirits. So Aquarius, Aquarius. Why is choice here for Aquarius, please? Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to take those too many. So we have the moon and the knight of cups. So exactly. So the moon energy, I mean, you can't really see um, what's going to happen. You can't see clearly. You're unsure. But it's also about talking about trusting your intuition. Also, could be deep feelings here with the moon. Um, you know, eventually the sun does come out and things are seen clearly, but right now you may not be seeing the path, the path clearly, how this will turn out. N Knight of cups, like, will this, you know, love offer come in? Will there'll be action or movement, you know, in this connection of some kind? So will there be a choice to take action and movement towards this connection and you just can't see right now um, if that choice will be made with this person is kind of what I'm feeling. So why does your person have compassion here? I feel like I feel like they know how you feel and they just um, just like in that compassionate energy towards you like, oh, that person likes me. Oh, that's cute. It's so that extra nice, you know, um, that kind of energy. And you may be taking that as you know, they like you too. I don't know. We'll see. So we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Two of Cups. Wow. So <laughs> yeah, maybe your person does like you too because they want to come rushing in here in unity with the Two of Cups energy. Soulmate energy here with the Two of Cups. 
You're wanting to come rushing in with the Knight of Swords energy. Wow. So... So maybe, you know, you you may be still unsure whether or not they're making a conscious choice towards you um, or something with a choice with you towards them about offering you offering love to them or them to you. Can't see things clearly. You know, how is this going to turn out? But this person is in the en in energy of wanting to rush in and offer, you know, soulmate union here. And that could just be that compassion energy of, oh, that person does like me and I like them too. So now they want to rush in and uh, have soulmate union here. And you're unsure what their actions will be. <laughs> wow. Okay. So let's look at the actual situation here for you. So we have the four of swords energy, thinking, contemplating, healing kind of energy. That's on your side. The Empress, so knowing your value, your worth. You could be a mother, some of you. Um, this is a birth of something new. So you want this new connection with this person. But maybe you're just kind of keeping to yourself with the Four of Swords energy. Like you like them, but you're not really telling them. Because the moon can also be about secrets. So maybe you need to make this conscious choice to come forward to them and tell them how you truly feel. Because I think they kind of feel the same way. All right, so the higher fence. Oh my God, that's right in the middle of your spread. That's commitment. Commitment. Wow, okay. Doing what's moral, just, and right. Faith, hope, spirituality. And they got the lovers now on their side. Wow. So they got soulmate union, unity with the two of cups, and the lovers of soulmates coming together. They see you as a soulmate, and they want to rush in and tell you that. What else here? And the Knight of Pentacles. So they want to do this uh, the right way. They want to be practical, smart. They're very stable and secure. Again, I feel like this could be somebody you work with, uh, maybe, or somebody you have met at work before. Maybe you don't work together now. Um, but I feel like with the Moon and the Four of Swords, um, you, you want this something new with them but you're not telling them how you feel like you want to tell them how you feel but you hold back it's like you both want the same thing with each other wow and they have heavy heavy soulmate energy here but they got the knight of pentacles which is very very slow energy uh barely moves so you know maybe they're taking a while and you're wondering well maybe you know maybe they just don't like me so hmm. okay but all the energy is here. So let's get advice for this connection. Nine of Wands is to keep fighting for it. Keep fighting for it. Don't give up. The world. So ending out old ways, old chapters, starting a whole new chapter. Seven of Cups feeling a little disillusioned, confused about the whole thing. Daydreaming maybe about each other. They're daydreaming about what it would be like to be in soulmate union to be lovers, wow, and the Queen of Cups, so definitely love and emotions and feelings here, King or Queen, doesn't matter who's watching this, male or female, King, Queen or Cups, doesn't matter, so someone who is mature with their feelings, they know how they feel, they definitely have love and emotions, that's on their side, so the advice for the situation is uh, not to give up, to keep fighting for this, whatever stagnant energy you're in now, no one's really coming forward or confessing to each other, um, that needs to close out and a whole new chapter needs to begin. So this whole new cycle can begin to get over these confusions and illusions and daydreamy energy and just come forward with love, emotions, and feelings with this uh, Queen of Cups energy. All right, so let's see. Let's see the possible outcome for this connection, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. The Fool, so there you go, resetting at zero, taking a leap of faith, jumping right in. So it looks like somebody's going to uh, make that first step here. Five of Cups energy, sadness and loss and heart loneliness, though. Well, let's get one more. Why is that here? Four of Pentacles, holding on, not letting go kind of energy. 
also can be a holding back kind of energy or a holding on and not letting go kind of energy. So it could be that, um, you know, just don't want to be without this person anymore because you feel so sad without them because the feelings are so strong, especially with the moon and the queen of cups, the lovers, the soulmate card, the two of cups, the page of cups, um, just, you know, that's right in the middle for the possible outcome. Just feeling like looking at your person, like, I just want to be with them. That's it. I just can't take it no more. I want to offer my pentacle and hope that they take it. And then I want to hold on to them and never let them go. And I'm willing to jump in like a fool here and take this risk and leap of faith with this person. So, okay. So let's see. Or for some of you, you may take a risk and tell this person how you feel and everything. And you may get rejected for some of you. And then you're kind of going to go in your own energy, the four of pentacles, and just kind of withdraw and hold on to what you have left for your stability, your sanity, uh, your emotions. But I think some of you will realize, you know, I just want to be with this person, you, them. Take that leap of faith, and then once you get them, you're not going to let them go with the four of pentacles energy. It's all about stability, holding on to that. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we've got the five of pentacles. So that's feeling lack, uh, loss, abandonment left out in the cold. But then we have the high priestess. So that is about intuition, higher knowing kind of energy. It could be a very spiritual connection here. But here we have going off into a better place together, uh, sailing away. Well, in this deck, this is a steampunk deck. You're flying off to a better place, <laughs> to peace, harmony, and balance. Very strong connection here. Uh, I felt that soulmate connection, strength, courage, bravery, moving forward. Truth and clarity with the King of Swords energy. Um, very open, honest communication. There's the love of communication coming in. Someone sending out those love arrows of communication, of love. Let's get this going. Let's be truthful and honest with one another, how we really feel, very strong feelings, and then going off into a better place together. Both intuitively knowing uh, this is my soulmate and I just don't want to be without them anymore with the Five of Pentacles energy. So for the signs here, other than Aries, we do have Cancer Pisces, Leo, Libra Gemini Aquarius, um, Cancer Pisces, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, uh, let's see here. Libra Gemini Aquarius, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, Gemini, Taurus, uh, let's see here. The Empress here is Libra and Taurus. And then we have Earth Energy with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Aquarius with the Fool, so a lot of energy here. So don't get too caught up on the signs, but I think we basically have all the signs here anyway. So we're going to get some extra messages here for you, Aquarius, with this deck. So I do ask Aquarius, especially if you're new um, and you like my channel, you like how I read my energy, you can check out my channel if you like what you see. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments if you subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. You'll be notified uh, and you won't miss any readings. I You'll get five readings a month. So I do, I'm going to be doing a bi-weekly um, love and general reading. And I just started a new bonus reading for all the signs, love, life, advice. So it's a look, a little bit, of, it's a look at a little bit of everything in the bonus reading for the month. So, and if you do, thank you. So let's get some extra messages from this deck for you, Aquarius. All right, extra. Wow. Okay. So what do we have here? Wow. We have Our Lady of Sacred Waters. 27 which is nine again with that energy of wishes and dreams coming true and to keep fighting on very stable independent energy um it also can be stress and anxiety but then we have our lady of the resurrection which is nine two nines here wow so i don't know if nine means anything to anybody but i feel feel like here water is very fluid it's healing, it's uh, deep, it's love, emotions kind of energy, it's healing. So I feel like it's a very sacred uh, connection here, be very healing, it may just you know, flow very fluidly between the two of you, a lot of deep emotions here. 
And you could be dealing with a water sign, if some of you. Uh, and then we have Our Lady of Resurrection. So if this is something that, um, I mean, maybe for some of you, you were with, were with this person in the past, and maybe there was been a separation or something, or make, maybe you did work with this person in the past, and then you now are coming back together. But this is definitely a resurrection here of soulmates. You could have had past lives with this person. Um, and this just could be the resurrection of the soulmate union here, coming back into each other's lives in this life. So let's get one more for Aquarius. Oh, <laughs> Our Lady of Sacred Union. And did I not just say that? 37, 10. 10 is about completion. Doesn't mean the ending of the relationship. Just could be like the 10 of cup energy. And then one is a brand new beginning. So Sacred Union here. So I do feel that sacred waters, sacred union, resurrection of soulmates, whether or not you were with this person before in this life, you could have had past lives definitely with this person. And then we have Our Lady of the Ocean of Rebirth, which is 28 again, which is 10 and 1, 10, the completion, you know, of something. And then one is a new beginning. So Our Lady of the Ocean of Rebirth. So... I just want to read a little bit. Uh, what the heck is that about? So this is the Mother Mary Oracle. So it speaks as if Mother Mary is speaking. So that's why it may sound a little odd as I'm reading this. I champion your growth always. I know when hard edges are best to be softened and when it is time for you to receive reward for efforts made. Allow me to help you to release a karmic pattern. Wow so that you can now be reborn into new consciousness. Allow me to help you heal your life from the inside, that the outside may change and reflect your inner beauty and spiritual light. I am bringing you assistance now that a force beyond your control may be softened and your successful growth assured. Wow. So if you're still karmically attached to something from the past, whether or not you're physically with somebody or you could still have those toxic cords still kind of attached or whatever here, this is like cutting those cords, um, releasing karmic energy, and like having a whole new uh, sacred union, like rebirth of yourself and a connection here. Wow. It's a lot of energy here, Aquarius. So I hope this resonates for you, Aquarius. So I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.